animal cell. So basically, animal cell is made of different cell organelles and each of these cell organelles has specific function. So let's start. So this is one example how one animal cell looks like. Then the first thing that you have, this pink thing that the arrow is pointing, it's called the nucleus. Inside of the nucleus, you have the DNA or genetic material. Usually you will hear that when people are talking about the nucleus, they are mentioning that the nucleus is like a big boss of the cell because he's controlling everything what is going on inside of the cell. Then the second one, we have this like a blue thing inside of the cell. This is cell um, liquid or more likely jelly-like structure in which uh, different cell organelles actually can move inside of the cell and different chemical reactions will happen here. The name of this cell organelle is the cytoplasm. Then the next one that we have is the, where is the purple uh, arrow, is basically called the mitochondria. Mitochondria is a um, cell organelle in which will um, happen uh, cellular respiration. That's the process in which the energy will be produced because every cell needs energy. Then the next one, these black uh, dots inside of the cell are, are called ribosomes. Ribosomes, their function is connected with the proteins. Then around the nucleus, these uh, structures that you have, it's called the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum, the function is connected with the production of proteins and some other functions. Then the next one, the green part here, is basically small vacuole. Um, inside of the vacuoles can be stored either water or food. The yellow part inside of the cell we call the Golgi body or sometimes you will hear the Golgi complex. The point of Golgi body or the function is to process and package different kinds of materials inside of the cell. Then the next one, something that goes around the cell and keeps everything inside, let's say, and also controlling what will go in, what will go in and out, it's called the cell membrane. So this is basically the blue thing that you can see now around the cell. Inside of plant cell. So plant cell is really similar to animal cell, but still there are some differences. So let's start. The red cell organelle that you can see on this photo in the corner, it's basically the same like you can find in animal cell. It's called the nucleus. The nucleus is basically the big boss of the cell or basically you can say that contains DNA and controls everything what is going on. Then we have one organelle which needs to break down food to produce energy for the cell. You can also find this organelle in animal cell and this reaction is called cell respiration. So the name of organelle is mitochondria. Then the next one we have, it's like jelly-like structure in which different chemical reactions can happen and it helps move different kind of, let's say, organelles inside of the cell. This one you can also find in the animal cell and the name is cytoplasm. So just here is yellow in color and there was blue. Then the next one is controlling what will go in or out of the cell. This one you can also find in animal cell and the name is cell membrane. Then next one is responsible for different kinds of processes and packages materials for the cell. This one you can also find in animal cell and the name is Golgi body or Golgi complex. Then we have one cell organelle which you cannot find in animal cell and actually helps the plant cell to give support and this specific shape and the name is cell wall. Then we also have one organelle which you cannot find in animal cell. It's called chloroplast and on this picture is green. A chloroplast contains one green pigment which we call chlorophyll. Why this chlorophyll inside of the chloroplast is really important? Because it needs to absorb light for the process which we call photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, photo, photosynthesis is chemical reaction which is really important for uh, plants because uh, in this process they are actually producing their own food. It's really important here that you realize the difference between chloroplast and chlor chlorophyll because chloroplast is cell organelle and chlorophyll is green 
pigment. So remember that. Next one, permanent vacuole. Um, it's similar to the one you can find in animal cell, but it's not the same thing. In animal cell, it's really small. Here is really uh, big and gives actually plant cell support. Um, because of the permanent vacuole is big and it, it can occupy the plant cell, this is the reason, one of the reasons why in plant cells you will find nucleus in the corners of the cell, while in animal cell you will see that it's more like in the middle. Then we have endoplasmic reticulum, which you can find really close to the um, nucleus, and it is responsible for production of different proteins for the rest of the cell to function properly. And ribosomes, ribosomes are also uh, related to production of proteins in the cell.